Shit, talk a black. I'm going to get back to <clears throat> Scientology. Everyone's afraid of you, even the government. Not me. I'm not afraid of you. You have all the TIs afraid of you. Every time I mention Scientology to a TI, they run like hell. It's just like maybe they don't see it or some shit, but then I see they come back on and do videos, but they will not mention Scientology. That's okay. I'll mention the shit enough for all of us. Now here, this is... 1982 CW Scientology hearing now Dr. John Clark is going to speak and uh, he allows me to know the reason Scientology did um, their little series on um, psychiatry I think it's called the industry of death which that video is actually 101% correct However, Scientology will have you run to a psychiatrist. They say, hey, don't uh, go to the psychiatrist or, you know, just see the video. Psychiatry, an industry of death. There are 10 videos. I downloaded all of them just in case they decided they wanted to, uh, to take them off because when I put certain videos into a playlist I go in there and that motherfucker has disappeared because he think I might talk about it now this video is 47 minutes and 41 seconds long I may not finish the whole thing today because I want to get to others You can tell the video is old. Look at it. 1982. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's about a little. I say Jack Clark because I've come to know him. It's Dr. John Clark. And he's one of the, well, I won't say his credentials. Shit, this was 30 years ago. Scientology is still going strong. He'll just stand up and say he swears to tell the truth. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> the panel, <laughs> they're Scientologists. He's just, they're just wasting time. All they're doing is wasting fucking time. Five standard questions, sir. Are you appearing here today and testifying under oath voluntarily? Yes. Yes, I am. Have you been paid by anyone for your testimony other than expenses for coming to Clearwater? No. The and they are in Clearwater. Yes. Scientology has a lawsuit against everyone. Sue me, motherfucker. I don't have shit you can get. Uh, they do a lawsuit. You don't have money. They'll probably just throw my ass in prison. I'll just go to prison talking about their asses. I'm going to talk about their asses till the day I fucking die.
Did you hear him? A massive change in your mental. But he used other words, but a massive change in your characteristics. A massive change in the way you think. A massive change. His harassment and all that, that's called fair game, coming from Scientology, see? So, even in 1982, people were going to tell the Senate committee or whatever they are about Scientology. Yet, Scientology got bigger and stronger. See, that's why Scientology did the thing on psychiatry. Scientology knew that the psychiatrists that did not want to join Scientology or maybe decided to leave would be able to pinpoint um, what the fuck they are doing to people because they are psychologists. Psychologists. Or they are into psychiatry. And that's one thing they deal with, the mind also. Now see, it's Scientology, he says Scientology brings about harmful results. But he's not talking about just religion. And like he said, he's not interested in religion. He's interested in the things that will bring about harmful results. And especially through the process of, of uh, conversion. Conversion. Mm. 
and that's what happens to those that go into Scientology. They become so mean, so apathetic, to the point they will gay stalk you, me, and anyone else, so that um, you know you can lose your mind, you lose your whole family, and some will even take their own lives. He said some of the attacks on him. These people don't seem to know how to use the word targeting because they think this is the words they gave to uh, the assets for us to use these words and maybe these words are some form of a neurolinguistic programming that keeps us apart from each other because he said attack. And that's what they're doing. They are attacking us. And somehow now all of a sudden they hear the next door, the door is opening and closing, opening and closing, you hear the keys going in and this and that. Well, you'd be surprised the shit your neighbors can do to you. See, so now Scientology is even calling his patients. Well, this man will really tell on Scientology. See, from his neighbors and his friends, they go around lying on you. And they go around to your neighbors and your friends and telling them these things. Scientology is doing this. The Church of Scientology, the members of the Church of Scientology are doing this shit. All the way back in 1982. Wow. This is City uh, Hall. Uh, 
they follow him around, they have money. So follow him around to all these damn places. Try to stop him from getting into England. Try to uh, go to Montreal. Write shit to this person. Write shit to that person. Go here, go there. Because they have enough money to do so. Their money just keeps going around in circles. So this is why they keep their money. How they keep their money. And they do that. They go around, they will say, uh, they probably call me a Nazi, I don't know. But they can say I'm gay. Or um, the main thing would be they suspect me of child molestation. Um, they just haven't, you know, actually caught me yet. So they need others to help them out, you know. And then people are just so gullible and... But that's the hypnotic trends that you are under. In 1980, they were sending an article mm -hmm. to all kinds of, of people very high up in my profession. They tried to destroy him. Uh, purporting to be something rather favorable to me, except that it was about ECT, electric shock treatment, and uh, it had some uh, material in it that seemed to be direct quotes from me saying that the programming could be uh, brought about by the use of electric shock treatment. Fortunately, I have friends who called me up and say, what's this all about? But I'm still quite not, quite sure that some people think that I'm uh, advocating ECT. See, some people know he's not, but some people, they think that he is because Scientology has a way of really, when they come and they talk to you, it's like they can make your hypnotic trance deeper. Another reason I am anti-religious, and I am, but I have a right to be anti-religious and not fuck anyone. And plus, you know, you, nothing. Several people approached my professor. Uh, one, a college student who was looking for information, just happened to mention me in some way that was really quite derogatory. Mm. A fake patient just like you have the all these fake targeted individuals on here the Scientology and I have all these fake ass uh, subscribers you know um, now I have two more since I started doing Scientology I think I've gotten 10 or 11 subscribers they're all to me it's nothing but Scientology they're just um, rats you know, hanging out. Uh, and when I put the food, when I the food that I put out my videos, they run and they have to watch them or just watch a couple of minutes of them. Even the views on my videos to me, the fake. They're only watching like four minutes, and some some don't even watch that long. There's a way to see uh, how many um, minutes uh, your videos have been watched and which video has been watched the most. It can also be fake because uh, Scientology and AT&T can do that. I'll do that in the third video I do. Uh, somebody on uh, one of the television shows from the uh, Citizens Commission of Human Rights. Uh... That's what I wanted to get to. And uh, this 20 minutes long, I'm going to come back with the Citizen Committee of Human Rights. <laughs> 